great day, great day. Great one day. It's a great one day. It's a great day. It's a great day really to anybody that is alive, regardless of how shitty your day may be going. We're here, we're finally on the live. It's been like three months. Nah, lying. It's been about a month and a half since I likely got on the live. It's been a month and a half since I last had signed off Instagram and all the other shit. And it's been about a month and a half since our main, our main account Super conscious thoughts was deleted. Maybe even been only a few weeks, three, four weeks, maybe under under thirty days since my super conscious thoughts got deleted at at about you know four thousand seven hundred, four thousand six hundred followers. I don't know how many how many the numbers were, but on this account we only have about five hundred and eight, five hundred and thirteen followers, something like that. So it's crazy, you know, it's crazy because I really wanted to get super conscious thoughts to maybe, maybe 20,000 followers, 50,000 followers before it got, before it got, you know, before it caught the eye of the wrong people too, a little too hard and, and it got erased. To be honest, I don't know why it got erased because I literally repost and repost and repost from other pages. So. Those pages are still around, but my account is gone. Maybe I was doing something right. The way that I was reposting the messages that I was writing down underneath these 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 things, but we're here. We're live on this one. I'm obviously gonna fucking share this video on the timeline, but you know, kinda kinda coming back to say what's up to people from the new apartment, from the new area of operation, from the new AO. Um, and I really wanted to, I think, I think the, the urgency to come on was really influenced by the fact that, you know, I really wanted to share this moment with a lot of people because um, about three or five weeks back, you know, I said to myself, yo, I would love to have my own place, you know, or a place to call my own before 2021 arrives. You know, I would love to have a place to call my own before this month ends. You know what I'm saying? Before the before even the last week of December comes through, I would love to have my own place to call home or a place to call my own, you know, before this this 2020 fiasco comes to an end and Lord behold you know um, December 18th I get the keys to my own little place and December 20th we're completely moved in and then you know I also had a goal that I really wanted to do um, psilocybin mushrooms you know before the year ended because I hadn't done any, I hadn't done an actual psilocybin mushroom trip since August, two, since July, excuse me, since July of 2018, you know, I took a break for about a year and a half just to kind of study myself and, and continue to see the progress that I was getting from the lessons that were being um, facilitated to me through the, you know, kind of sort of wise use of these plants and so I I did <laughs> I ended up doing a whole five grams on the 22nd of this month you get what I'm saying because I'm big on number I'm big on numbers I'm born in the fifth month of the year so I was like yo I might as well do five grams to represent that fifth month in this 2020 year you know, which makes it May 22nd. For those that didn't know, that's my my born day. That's why I love the number 22. I'm a Gemini. But I was like, yo, let me put all these numbers into, into you know, 
And yo, here, here we are. Here we are. We did a heroic, we, we, we did a kind of heroic dose of, of, of magic mushrooms on the 22nd of this month by myself. Um, anybody that has never done a, 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 a high dose of, of magic mushrooms of that level, I, I highly recommend that if you haven't done it in a while, highly recommend that you have a babysitter. I probably should have had a sitter that day. Um, thankfully, I didn't hurt myself. In a bad way. Um, thankfully, those thoughts don't don't go through my mind, don't go through my head, because what would be the point? You know what I'm saying? What would be the point? That a life is unlived, and then therefore I never become the gift, miracle, blessing, or solution that somebody is seeking for in life. You know, because all of us. Each and every one of us is a gift, a blessing, or a solution to somebody else's problems. You know what I'm saying? And 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 somebody else's problem may be the blessing, miracle, or example that we need in our lives so that we can create the changes that we need to create, you know, in our own lives to create that kind of ripple effect in the rest of the in the rest of this reality. So those things happen during this month of December. Uh, my old IG account got deleted. Superconscious Thoughts was deleted at 4,500, 4,700 something followers. Um, no reason as to why, no email as to when it got erased. It just got erased. And it, it took me re-downloading Instagram and logging into all of my account and realizing, oh shit, there's one account that there's no trace of. So RIP to Superconscious Thoughts. And thank you, B, to that great account for creating the avenues that it has created and reaching the, the people that it did reach around the world. Um, and hopefully we, we, we continue to create that, that sort of kind of same energy, you know, through this, through this account, through Superconscious Living. You know, and in a sense, also not create those negative energies that 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 induce the this this either artificial or man man handled um, you know social media algorithm which indirectly and directly ta uh, targets um, pages that are delivering insightful and 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 messages that are beneficial not just to the technology itself but also to humanity you get what i'm saying because at the end of the day we are all one to include this artificial intelligence that we man ourselves have created it's all intertwined into ourselves so you know i don't i don't want to send any kind of negative energy to the to the artificial intelligence running running um, all this all this technology that we humanity have created for ourselves why because we are the ones that are creating this technology we are the ones through our intentions and through our desires and through our fears and through our you know um, ability to transcend our own egoic self only through that can we um, facilitate this technology's ability to to grow and learn in such a way that it, it continues to benefit humanity, and that it also, in a sense, it it, it 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 finds ways to correct itself based on the errors that we are intentionally inputting into it. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot. There's a lot. 2020 is the age of awakening. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, for those that that were unaware of the astrological impact that the stars have on this physical realm, you know, is an age of awakening for those. It's, 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 it's an age of awakening for those that didn't understand that you, your thoughts do become your reality because what you think is what you attract and what you attract is what you eventually end up being, doing, becoming, and entertaining. You get what I'm saying? It's, a, it's the age of awakening for, for those that didn't didn't believe in any metaphysical ability and, and humans metaphysical abilities you know clairvoyance foresight 
but I think that's something that we all have. But you know, um, clairvoyance, tele telepathy, um, levitation, all this crazy stuff that 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 we just see in cartoons and movies. You know, is the age of awakening for a lot of people that didn't know, that didn't understand um, what witchcraft or you know what white magic or dark magic was, and how we can use you know our uh, the energetic um, powers of this material reality to, in a sense, mold reality in a good or in a bad way, depending on the intentions that we really carry inside. You know, so it's it. You know, 2020 is the age where a lot of things are being brought to light. You know, a lot of things are being brought forth from the from the realm of of non-existence into the realm of existence. And, you know, a lot of people today now, because they lack the clarity of thought and the, 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 the clarity of vision to really see what's really going on, you know, their vision is being clouded by fear. And that fear today comes in, 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 the, in the manifestation of, of, of disinformation, of disinformation and misinformation through the misuse of the mediums of, of telecommunications that that we have today. It's 2020. It's 2.15 in the afternoon. I came on this live at 2, at 2 and some change. And, you know, we're still here, man. We're still trying to figure out this life thing, this life hack, um, you know, reading the, the books. Um, if none of you have ever seen these little books, I recommend that you get them. You can find them at We The People. And just really, really, really check them out, all right? Let me, let me, let me send you a passage from this, from this one, which is the Common Law Handbook for Jurors, Sheriffs, Bailiffs, and Justices. All right? Justice and judgment are the habitation of thy throne. Mercy and truth shall go before